Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with him and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab, jab and high, jab and low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeBain. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Fighting out of New Delhi, India, Mountain. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Yeah. You ready? You ready? Yeah. All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, not the other. Truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury! It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Good work getting in the way of that knee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Well, he misses with the left punch there. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, single collar tie here. Those punches to the body are really starting to take control. Lee gets hit with a flush uppercut there. Dead, dead, nice kick. 
pocket. Oh, well, you can't enter the pocket there unprotected. You got to figure out a way to get your guard up a little bit. Another kick lands to the head there. And let's see if he and his corner can make the proper adjustments defensively to avoid any further head kicks here in this fight. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Stuff to take down, no problem. Right hand punch to the clinch. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Here he is back in the clinch. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Big leg kick lands. He's trying to double up on that jab. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, collar tie. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. Boy, Ty Plum. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he's doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Huge block there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big kick land. Oh, this is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Good, solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands being a veteran of so many fights that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Leg kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Left hand punch to the clinch. Transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Now he touches him with the left. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips and push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Lee gets up, he is back on the feet here. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. And there's a takedown attempt. Hurt very badly. Let's go. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. That's a big strike right there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Liv. Final seconds of round three. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you gotta really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Ooh, what a punch. 
nice body kick right on the uh, Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Ball oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. And they separate. Fantastic takedown. And he gets the single leg takedown. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. Nice super punch. Nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Just misses there with the left. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Checks that leg kick. Single collar down now. how you scramble, folks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this game. there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Huh. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the book. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the Ready? mouth guard, and just let Ready? it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Nice kick. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 14 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by Uptown Mountain. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You've only got to pull it away. I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.